Good evening. Now, do you find this offensive? Two men wearing stretchy outfits known as mankinis while collecting for charity. Well, their appearance caused outrage in a part of Birmingham with a high Muslim population, especially as their sponsored walk coincided with a demonstration by far-right protesters. The two men, who were raising money for charity for dogs, needed a police escort after an angry crowd made it clear they weren't welcome. Giles Latcham reports. Stephen Ellis and Jason Hendry love dogs and it was in aid of a dog's home that they set out with Stephen's kids on a sponsored walk with a difference. The essential bits were covered up, apart from maybe part of my backside. The difference being their choice of costume, the highly revealing, for many rather comic, mankini. As well as a good cause, it was meant to be a laugh and to be have the response we did in that area was just unbelievable. They were walking the eight miles from Solihull to Birmingham, but in a district home to many Muslims, they ran into trouble. The semi-naked duo say they and their supporters came under attack from a group of Asian men throwing stones, apples and eggs. The police were called and they spent nearly half an hour trying to prevent what they describe as unintended or unnecessary upset. Being called a paedophile, that, that's a bit extreme. And then, like, obviously, it wasn't just me and Steve that was being abused. We had um, my sister, she was having, like, you know, racial comments thrown at her. The same day, a few miles away in the city centre, the far-right English Defence League were holding a protest. And among local Muslims, tensions were high. The pair say they didn't know the demonstration was taking place. The incident happened close to an Islamic charity. Among the staff there, contrasting views. Yes, you know, the stone throwing and... Uh, uh, the eggs is totally unacceptable, yeah? But you know, uh, semi-naked men walking through town is unacceptable as well. Through all of the areas in Birmingham, there's people who are idiots, and a few people have gone up to these uh, lads who are doing a charity one. Now I work for a charity, so if you're raising funds and you're in Birmingham, do what you want to do. It's nobody's business. If you want to go in Spark Hill, wear a uh, bikini, whatever it is, wear it. The walkers were raising funds for the new headquarters of Birmingham Dogs Home, but they ended up being driven the last few miles under police escort. Hopefully people can understand that everybody has a different idea of how they might raise money, as long as it's legal when we would support it, because obviously everybody's different. The pair raised £300 for the Dogs Home and remain undaunted. They're planning more charity events, Mankinis included. Giles Latcham, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham. And we'd like to know what you think. Would you be offended by men similarly dressed walking down your street or do you think those who objected went over the top by hurling abuse and more? Do get in touch by email, Facebook or Twitter and we'll try to bring some of your responses before the end of the programme.